feels weird, very formal to be filming with notes. I never film with notes, but today I'm filming with notes because I don't want to forget anything. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. I'm aware time goes very, very quick when you're busy or having fun or, or I don't know, when you're just not concentrating on the time and when you have all intentions, we've all been there. It's like you leave your family's house and you go, I'll call next week. Next week turns into next month. Next month turns into three months and then it turns into a year. And then it turns into a year and you're like, where did that time go? Well, that's kind of where I am with YouTube. But I'm here now with a very, very informative video. And that video is... What is the best mop to use on your floors? The best analogy, is it an analogy? A a an analogy? <laughs> I think it's an analogy that I can come up with is, I have lots of pairs of jeans. Well, I don't have lots of pairs of jeans, but I probably have like five or six pairs of jeans, which are all my favorite jeans. In fact, I've got a new pair of Topshop Jamie jeans on today, which are brand new, and they are my favorite pair of jeans. However, they're not as comfortable as my, they're not even there as being staged. Topshop Jamie jeans with ripped knees, which have got a little bit of button stretch in them. And I've taken the label out of the back so it no longer itches. Whereas the label in the back of my new jeans is still there. And they're just not quite as comfortable as my little old favorite Topshop Jamie jeans. But I still love them, they're still my favourites. And they're still my favourites too. Absolutely love them. Another way, went to H&M the other day, bought two new hats for autumn winter. Couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I got them both. And they are both my favourite hat because I love them. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't love them. And when I put perfume on in the morning, at the moment I'm wearing Tony's Blend, which is my own perfume. I know that sounds incredibly biased and I sound like I'm up my own arse, but I promise you I'm not. I'm just wearing my own perfume because it's my favorite smell at the moment. However, I have lots of favorite perfumes. Perfume is my thing. I love perfumes and every single bottle is my favorite, regardless of whether it was a birthday gift, a Christmas gift, I bought it myself, I saved up for it, whatever. What I'm saying is we are allowed to have lots of favourite things. And nine times out of ten, people like to get a little bit catty with me on Instagram and YouTube. And I'm by no means retaliating to any of that. What I'm doing is creating an informative video to help you decide what mop you want to purchase to mop the floors in your home. So, to start off with... I am not sponsored by anybody that I speak about in today's video and I'm not affiliated by anybody. I do currently have a working relationship with Bona. Bona are one of my favourite cleaning products and spray mops to use. I was a customer, oh, hearing my mouth. I was a customer before I became a content creator for them or a sponsored creator i don't know what you want to call me but before i started working with bona i was a customer a regular customer where i'd go to argos or bnq or lakeland purchase a spray mop but most importantly purchase the cleaners if you've been a follower of mine for a long time you know i'm a stickler for what is safe to use around my pets and what isn't safe and the only way that I can describe that is if I was to pour a load of chemicals all over the floor and just pop some warning triangles and hazard signs, would you walk through that cleaner barefoot and would you let your cat, dog, rabbit, guinea pig, hamster, whatever pet you have, would you let your pet walk through that chemical that you dropped on the floor? I know I wouldn't and I know you wouldn't as well and nine times out of ten that is basically what people are doing when they're mopping the floors whereas these products that I use to clean my floors I can walk through it barefoot safely and it will not affect my skin at all it's actually pH neutral balanced I think it is 
and my dogs can walk through it too and it will not harm their pads it won't make them sneeze and that is the boner floor cleaner that i have to say i have bought and purchased with my own money and have done now for a long time since i stopped using the method floor cleaner and the morrison's morrison's ecological range is it morrison's ecological or is it waitrose ecological i think it's waitrose ecological their grapefruit mint was one of my favorite floor cleaners but there was a reason why i stopped using that but anyway this is the boner hard surface floor deep cleaner now each floor cleaner that i use somebody has made a comment and said that I use that many different sprays that they can't keep up and that many different mops so here's the thing I only ever use two mops I use a boner floor mop which will be a spray mop or a normal regular mop that doesn't have a spray on it you spray individually and I use my aircraft power glide cleaner now this floor cleaner is a hydrogen peroxide cleaner which is specially formulated for wood floors. Now I have wood floors, laminar floors and tiled floors throughout my house. This cleaner is for stone, tile, laminate and vinyl and LVT. Now as you know I did have Condine also, that's why I don't use steam mops or anything like that because they can't be used on the floors. However, I no longer have Condine, but I still use this because it can be used on laminate stone and tile. So that's what I would use in the bathroom and the kitchen, and it's absolutely fine to use. This is a wood floor cleaner. So they're both boner cleaners, but they're used differently for different floors. I even have another one down here, which is what I've been using, and it's almost gone. Again, all of these, oh, all of these were purchased by me on Lakeland, and yeah, these weren't gifted to me or part of a sponsorship or anything like that. However, for transparency, I do have an ongoing working relationship with Boner Floors on Instagram, not on YouTube. Now, this is one that you'll see me using quite often. This is a spray mop from Boner. It comes with a fabric that goes on the bottom which can be machine washed this bottle is refillable however you'll see another one which has got a white bottle because they tend to change the model and the cleaners obviously this one is for laminar floors it's exactly the same cleaner as this one it can be used on stone tile laminate and vinyl so this mop i will use on my kitchen floors with no problem at all because the laminar floors and that's where i will use that then this mop which i purchased for our new house is the boner mop now this is just the the mop that you will use your spray cleaners with so you'll spray and mop as you go and this can be used on any type of floor it's all down to what spray you use with your spray mop now the reasons why i use boner mops is because they are amazing quality it's minimal effort their cleaners clean thoroughly and safely the price point is value for money i think the spray mop is 25 pounds and this one is slightly cheaper i'll have to have a little look online but i'll link it in the description box down below for anybody who wants to have a little look but it's cheaper than the spray mop you'll just need to buy these from lakeland which i will also link down below for you to have a little look and see if you want to purchase one of these now i did use the cheaper style spray mops back in the day maybe four years ago 2018 and um, they're absolutely great but they're never going to clean the same way that a bone mop cleans because these are specially designed like that bit there is nice and smooth for a polish and then they've got like a rough coat of bit here and then like little gritty bits in it so you know the designs you're getting what you pay for basically you can pay for a cheap mop or you can pay a little bit more for a mop that's going to last and it's going to do the job well there's no charging or anything like that you don't need to plug it in to go or charge a battery or anything you can just clean and go it's lightweight it's easy to use it will glide around the room with ease using you know as if you're going to mop basically and when it's used with boner cleaner products it literally brings the mop to life not just saying that because you know you can use any cleaner you want to use but i highly recommend the boner floor cleaners for your specific type of floor one spray and the marks are gone it's effortless cleaning absolutely love my boner mop now on to the aircraft power glide again another fame favorite of mine but this is the more luxury mop so it's high end i think it's priced around 200 to 250 pounds i'm not 100% and I don't want to guess however 
it's a fantastic mop it's great i charge the battery on it which takes about five to seven hours to charge and that will last me for about three days maybe two and a half days at a push and there's nothing worse than when you're cleaning halfway through and then it just gives in on you you're like no and i have had two problems with my aircraft power glide now bear in mind i think it's around three have i have i had it for three years i think i might have had it for three years I think so, or we're coming up to three years anyway. And it was kindly gifted to me from Powerglide back three years ago. Back three years ago, and it's been a fan favourite of mine and always will be. I've had two issues with it. The first issue was the pipe, which sprays out because you can actually fill the tank in the aircraft Powerglide. The tank got blocked or something happened anyway. So I had to send the body back to aircraft Powerglide. They repaired the issue. And what happened was I was using one cleaner in the aircraft power glide and water and that was back when I didn't realise the dangers of using um, chemicals around dogs and you know I just wasn't aware of it. However I've learnt now and I changed from using that very watery cleaner to uh, one that was slightly a little thicker which was the Waitrose Ecological range and it was their grapefruit eco-friendly cruelty free floor cleaner and aircraft power glide suggested that it could have potentially been that that blocked the pipe in the aircraft power glide because it's a little bit thicker in its consistency so they recommended to not use that and either use the a cleaner that i had previously been using that i didn't use anymore or put the cleaner into a separate bottle and just have water in the aircraft power glide it was just a little bit too much effort for me by the time i would finished cleaning up which is usually a couple of hours the last thing i wanted to do was start filling up a cleaner separately and using it to clean the floors and there was no way that i could have just cleaned my floors with water cold water or hot water because i've got three dogs you know and the last thing I would want to do is clean my floors and just think that I hadn't cleaned them, cleaned them, whereas the cleaners that I use are specifically used for getting your floors clean and, you know, the antibacterial, which is the most important thing. They kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses and viruses <laughs> and viruses, which is what I wanted because obviously we don't walk barefoot in our house because we do have three dogs. But if I didn't have dogs, then obviously, yeah, I'd walk barefoot and the house wouldn't bother me at all. I'll walk barefoot while I'm mopping because it's all freshly mopped. But as soon as the dogs have been out in the garden and they've come back into the house, I don't really want to go barefoot. So yeah, Aircraft Power Glide advised that I just use water or the cleaner that I had previously been using so that there was no issues. And the other issue that I had was the battery or the charger and Aircraft Power Glide, which was about, I don't know, maybe a year ago or... 10 months ago, 8 months ago, something like that. It wasn't too long ago anyway. And Aircraft Power Glide reached out to me and they were like, you know, we can see you're not using your Aircraft Power Glide anymore. Is there an issue with it? And I was like, well, it's not charging properly. I don't know whether there's an issue with the battery or with the charger, but it's not charging properly. So they were like, send me a picture of the charger, which I'd done. And they kindly sent me out a new charger and a new battery. It might have even been two new batteries and it worked perfectly fine. Once I put the new battery in and I charged it up, it's like a brand new aircraft power glide again and i went on and i purchased new floor pads because the other pads i don't know what i've done with the blue ones they're probably packed away or i might have even thrown them away because they were that heavily used but i couldn't find them to show you them in this video and the clean and cloths as you can see these were originally pink and white but they are a little bit grubby i mean they get washed they're clean they go in the washing machine but i went on to aircraft and purchased these i think these are about 20 pounds which isn't really expensive but if you're looking for something that's cheaper and easier to clean the floor i understand that not everybody's budget is going to be comfortable with spending the money out on an aircraft power glide and the replacement pads so i have to use i have to think of my audience and share lots of different ways to clean your floors and that's what i do if you've been a follower of mine for a long time you'll see that sometimes i'll grab out the mop and bucket and clean my floors because at the end of the day your floors are getting cleaned it doesn't matter what you use as long as you're cleaning your floors and i like to just be a little bit more diverse rather than sticking to the same thing all the time and making people feel inferior who maybe don't have the budget to be able to pay out that type of money for a mop I've had to get my notes out for this because I don't want to miss anything off. So I've got the Power Glide 
and why it's a great mop. Not that I need to read notes, bear in mind I've written these and it's not staged in any way, I just didn't want to forget anything. I've got that it's a, an amazing quality mop, which it is. Um, it won't only clean, but it can buff your floors too. Now the blue pads that I can no longer find, I've probably worn them thin and they've gone in the bin, but they're buffing pads, they're to be used if you're gonna put maybe an oil on your floor. So if you've got oak floor, you would, buff it a little bit with a bit of oil maybe that's what that would be used for don't quote me on everything because i'm not 100 percent and it's been a long time since i've read up on the aircraft power glide however i do know that those blue pads are for buffing your floors and it might be for polish i don't know but they're for buffing anyway um, i purchased the extra pads and the charge lasts for three days which i've already said sometimes it can be two and a half days i think it just depends how mucky my floors are so if i'm in the kitchen that's such a high traffic area where the dogs come in and out of the garden especially on wet days like today so it will take me a little bit longer it might take me five or ten minutes longer to clean those floors so the battery obviously the next day won't last as long and that's where there's the problem where the battery can go flat and you're left stranded until you charge it back up again and at that point you've sat down you've had your dinner you've done a little bit of work that you need to do there's no way that you want to get the mop back out and start mopping again you're like i'll do it tomorrow it's lightweight and really easy to use it takes around five to seven hours to fully charge it cleans amazing which it does and it's an, an outstanding finish it's exactly like boner it leaves that lovely sheen on your floors where you know that they're nice and clean it is pricey it's an expensive mop it's a high-end mop and this is why you know at the end of the day i want to be diverse i want to show that there are a lot you can get the same effect from lots of different mops it just depends what your budget is but the power glide is an expensive mop and if it was to break would i buy it and replace it of course i would because it's a mop that i absolutely love and i use it all the time someone left a comment on my sponsored work for boner on instagram and you know the claws were out there's no need to be that way. I am probably one of the most approachable people that you can speak to. Ask me a question and I'll answer you honestly. If something's not so great, I'll tell you it's not so great. I've got no reason to tell you any lies or anything like that. But somebody left a comment and said, well, I thought that the power glide was the best thing since sliced bread. It is. And so is Bona. And it's like I said to you, I've got two pairs of jeans. They're the same jeans. But they're still the best ones since sliced bread. I will wear this pair more than I wear that pair. I'll just use them equally. And another comment was left again on my boner sponsored work asking why I no longer use the aircraft power glide. The aircraft power glide was used either in my last video, cleaning video, or the cleaning video before that. It was used in it. I know it was used in it because I charged it specifically for cleaning the house. And I do use it. It's just how much attention people are paying to the content that I'm creating on YouTube to notice that the Aircraft Power Glide was featured in it. I wasn't paid by Aircraft Power Glide and I've never been paid by Aircraft Power Glide. I do not have an ongoing relationship with them and I am not affiliated to them in any way. They are part of an affiliate program, but to date, I don't think I've ever linked the Aircraft Power Glide as an affiliate link and earned a kickback of commission from a purchase ever. Then there is the good old mop bucket. You can't beat a Viacal mop bucket and a good old cheap mop from Home Bargains or B&M or whatever mop you want to use. You're going to get exactly the same effect from a mop and bucket filled with hot water out of the kettle and your favourite cleaner. Sometimes there is nothing better than filling that up with boiling water out of the kettle getting the mop nice and hot using your favourite cleaner in the mop bucket or along with the mop and just cleaning your floors that way. You get an amazing finish. My mum used a mop and mop bucket. She didn't have these fancy mops that, you know, I've got and I know I am so privileged to be able to use these mops and they make cleaning so much easier for me. And if my mum was alive today, I would buy her an aircraft power glide. In fact, I bought my friends an aircraft power glide. That's how good they are. And I bought and paid for it out of my own money. So, you know, at the end of the day, a mop and mop bucket is going to give you exactly the same effect as an aircraft power glide, as a boner mop, as any mop 
it's going to give you the same effect but the one thing that you just can't beat and i know that not everybody can do it and again i'm grateful that i can do it is to just get on your hands and knees with a cloth and a spray or whatever cleaner you want a bowl and a cloth and clean your floors on your hands and knees i done it an awful lot when i had colandine flooring and if you've got any type of vinyl or lvt flooring you will know that it's incredibly hard to keep it clean I absolutely love Carndine. You can't beat it for me for comfy and the feeling under your foot. However, it's a nightmare to clean. And I mean a nightmare to clean. I used to have to get on my hands and knees once or twice a month and give it a really good deep down clean with some magic erasers and scrubbing brushes, you name it. I've done all of it. And the floor came up nice and clean. But you are never going to get that effect from a mop or a spray mop with Carndine or LVT flooring you need to get on your hands and knees and give it a good old scrub that's my opinion my opinion on all of these mops today is my own opinion I've not been encouraged or told to speak about these products I do have an ongoing relationship with Bona for transparency but that's over on Instagram nothing to do with YouTube so here's the thing that I want you to take away from this I absolutely love the mops that I use Bona being my favorite Aircraft Power Glide being my favorite and there's loads of drilling going on outside and it's annoying me but what i want to say is i don't have to come to youtube to share these things with you i do it because it might make your life a little bit easier for cleaning the floors or if you've got pets like i have it's going to make it a little bit easier for you and just know that i'm coming from a place of honesty i'm not going to tell you any lies if i think a product's good then i think it's good you may have a different opinion on that but what i want you to ask yourself is do you really think that Cheryl Cole uses a L'Oreal box dye on her hair to dye it? Do you really think she does? And that's all I've got to say on it. I really do use my Bona Mop and I really do use my Aircraft Power Glide and I absolutely love both of them. I love my mop and mop bucket and I love a good old scrubbing brush on the floor. If you've watched my videos, you've seen me use a scrubbing brush on my stairs and I own thousands of pounds worth of vacuum cleaners that I have bought with my own money. But you can't beat a good old scrubbing brush to lift the pile up on your stair carpet. No Miele vacuum, Dyson vacuum, be it a V7, a V8, a V10, a V11, a V15, a loopy vacuum, whatever vacuum cleaner, you're never going to get the same effect as a good old scrub and brush and that's it that concludes today's video it feels good to be back please don't think that this was a ranty or shouty video i really hope that it's been informative and it's it's give you some type of idea of what type of mop you want to mop your house with and that's it thank you so much everyone for watching i really hope i haven't got to edit this video too much and i can get it up today and just to let you know it is currently oh i've missed quite a bit the 28th of September, you can see it's Tuesday, the 28th of September. And hopefully, hopefully you might see this video today before I go to work because I'm doing work in 15, well, 18 minutes. Clock's ticking. Have a fabulous day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your favourite way of cleaning your floors. And, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon. Bye.